This video falls under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Thank you. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Pixie Love. You guys can call me Pixie. And today we're doing some fat acceptance TikToks. It's been a while, but we're here. And I found a compilation on YouTube. And I'm gonna take a couple videos. I tend to do like three or four videos in them. So I'm gonna take a couple videos and react to them because I can react to a 30 minute, a 30 second TikTok and react to it for like 10 minutes. So it, yeah, we gonna be here. But I have not checked this out. I did kind of like just zoom through it and it did look like all these were just people based in their opinions and talking and stuff. Nothing of anyone dancing. I think the first video I clicked on from this person actually was like someone dancing. I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna do this. Then I found another video and it's just some compilations. So I'm not gonna be reacting to anyone of people just dancing and living their lives. You live your life, go off sis, okay? It's when you open your mouth and say stupid, <clears throat> it's when you open your mouth and say stupid shit, that's when I'm gonna come in and say my own opinion, all right? All right, let's get into these TikToks now. All right, so this first TikTok is re uh, reacting. <clears throat> All right, so this first TikTok is someone reacting to a comment, and the comment is saying, I understand genetics, and I know science, and I do know that there is a fat gene, and metabolic plays a role, but not, but that's not an excuse to be fat. Sir, no offense, but what in tarnation are you talking about? I mean, first of all, you said you're personal friends with science. You know science. And then you listed some reasons why someone would look fat and have it had nothing to do with anything they did they just they're just fat naturally and then you want to say that's not an excuse to be fat well honey what would you have me do i'm not making excuses i eat my vegetables i go to the gym i am just naturally fat it is genetics you want me to starve myself so that you think I look sexy? Okay. I know she's not done, but I think she's almost done. And I'm going to say this first. The way she talks sounds like a Southern Belle from a fucking movie. And I'm kind of annoyed with it. Like, I don't know, man. If maybe if she wasn't saying something that was annoying me, I would think it's cute and adorable. But, like, it sounds so animated, so fake, so put on that, like... Like, and I've lived in the South. Like, I've lived in Texas. I've lived in Georgia. I've lived in Florida. I've lived in, like, I've lived in the South, okay? And, like, I really never met someone who uses, what in tarnation? Seriously. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. And I, I know there's people who talk like that, but, like, this just seems so put on. It's like someone who's trying to seem so morally, morally, it's like someone who's trying to seem so morally better that they're speaking in a whole different like language you know what I mean like I don't know I don't know but to what she's saying because I was listening to the words that she was actually saying as well I think she's misinterpreting what the person is saying and the person didn't explain themselves very well either there is some genetics and a fat gene but that doesn't mean that you're gonna be like 150 pounds overweight and I don't know the full science behind it but I know if nine out of ten doctors are saying that hey being 150 pounds overweight is not healthy it's not healthy even if your genetics quote-unquote makes it harder for that to happen it doesn't mean it's still healthy at the end of the day and genetics um I think how that plays into it, and once again, I could be 100% wrong, but from my understanding, um, genetics plays into it in like a different, a different way. I think it's not, gen I think people are getting, gets genetics and like hereditary mixed up kind of. When I think about hereditary, I know it's not 100% right, but I mean like you inherit some of your parents' behaviors and like, um, like ticks about them right because you see your parents act a certain way so then you act a certain way like me and my sister are extremely afraid of bugs whenever a bug would come around my mom would like jump and scream and like so I don't do bugs like I don't do spy I don't do bugs you know but when my nephew was born my older sister wanted us to not react so much around bugs because she didn't want him to be afraid and so my mom tried a little bit me and my little sister 
did try our hardest to like not really freak out and react and scream when we were around bugs and stuff like that and and hence my nephew had like pet you know fucking Kermit Kermit like he he's not afraid of bugs like he he doesn't he's not afraid of them because we didn't get those reactions in front of him so he didn't have those reactions so he didn't inherit those reactions from us so that fear and so like when your family has bad eating habits you inherit the bad e eating habits from them but it's not like an actual genetic thing like oh my mom's fat so i'm fat like you're not fat because your mom's fat you're fat because your mom has bad eating habits so you got your bad eating habits from her and like i don't doubt you you eat your vegetables and all that shit you're probably still eating like three to four thousand calories a day and that's probably what you've done your whole life so you think you're eating a normal amount but when you get around people who don't eat that much you're like oh Maybe I am eating too much. I'm just saying. Honey, no. That's not how this works. Not at all. And that's just something you're going to have to process. All right? I can't help you with that. Ask your friend Science, since you know him so well. Okay? Like, you know, I think I, think I, I think I get a little annoyed when they're a little sassy and sarcastic. But then again, I'm a sassy and sarcastic bitch. So I understand. You know, girl? I get it. If someone was pissing me off, I would act just the way you're acting. So I kick your attitude. But it's just so funny seeing someone so confident in a wrong opinion. You know what I mean? And just for anyone who's new here, I am a fat bitch. So I'm allowed to talk about this, okay? I'm allowed to disagree with them because I am fat. I'm allowed to talk about them because I'm fat. Just in case no one knows. Check up my Instagram. You guys can see I'm a pretty big girl. I'm on a weight loss journey been you know on slowly but surely losing weight you guys can see my last progress pick videos were for my birthday from a year ago and this year I you know lost about 10 pounds but yeah I am a fat girl and I'm allowed to talk about fat people so don't come up on here telling me what I can and can't do but back to her um I yeah, no, I think I already said everything I said before she finished talking you know you wanted the person to do their talk to their friend science well I'm letting you know what science is telling me and it's telling me that it's not an actual like genetic gene like you're getting from your parents. Like I said, it's the eating habits your parents are passing down to you. What's an opinion you have that might piss some people off? We don't have an obesity epidemic. We have an epidemic of various social, cultural, and economic factors that are leading people to develop diseases that we then attribute to their body size and we try to solve by saying that they need to just make their body smaller. Okay. See, this is what I call bullshit because basically this, I've heard this argument. This argument is like fat people, the fat on your body isn't the problem. The problem is all the stigma that comes with being fat, that is the problem. So that's like saying, so the, so the social, you know, the social stigma, the, you know, the bullying, the, all these things that come with being fat, all the outside, uh, influences causes your bro your body itself to physically shut down and have the problems due to the stress um see the reason why i don't agree with that argument because that would also work for other marginalized and oppressed actual marginalized and oppressed groups like people of color um the lgbt community if all these outside forces can act like and i the stress can do some incredible things to the body in a negative way you know what i mean and so if this argument was valid you would see a lot of these same issues in people of color women you know the lgbt community because and throughout history and currently still these groups of people have been marginalized and oppressed by society and to my in my personal opinion has been way more marginalized than fat people have and so you would see very similar symptoms in these group of people to the effect of it like you see it in fat people as well like so i and i i i what I, I, I am going to point out one thing that i do i remember hearing a say that women uh die from heart disease more than men so maybe it's not the fact that we're women and there's something to deal with that but maybe it's because women are actually marginalized and oppressed that's why we die from heart disease you know what Ma you know what oh my god they're right because you know what 
black people there's certain diseases that only black people get and you know what it's probably not because of their dna or something it's probably because of the oppression black people deal with <gasps> oh my god <gasps> they're fucking right I'm so sorry. All your health problems aren't because you're fat. It's because of the stress and the oppression you deal with. Wow. I can't believe you're right. Okay. So this person is replying to a comment that says, Not to be rude, but if you lost some weight, you might have a better chance of finding someone. Looks matter for the initial attraction. So I'm going to respond to that. That's absolutely positively bullshit. Looks do matter, but not actually in the way that you think. Um, Because there are a lot of big plus size people, men and women, who are in loving relationships. And one thing that attracts people is like, I say it all the time when I do my most, uh, my positive, my motivational Monday videos, a confidence is extremely attractive. You could take a photo of the same person doing the same like pose or whatever, wearing the same outfit, and one one day they're not feeling their best self, they're not feeling into it, and the next day they are a confident ass bitch. And I can tell you, the one where they're confident, that picture is going to be more attractive because confidence is attractive. Your attitude is attractive. Like yeah, you can initially see someone, but even without even talking to someone, just the way that a person holds themselves is the attractive part like yeah they can you can add the clothes the looks their body all that stuff is initial but like at the same time it's also that confidence the way that they hold themselves the way that you see how they like you can see how a person feels about themselves by looking at them and if that person is feeling good about themselves someone else might be like damn they know something i don't like you know like so it's not just looks and that like the physical looks it's also the way you think about yourself Okay, and I'm assuming this person who's about to respond has been on TikTok complaining about being single and not finding someone. And I'm sorry, but if you're on the internet complaining about not finding someone, that's not attractive. That's not, that's not it. No one wants to hear that. Like we had a girl who was talking about, she sets boundaries and, you know, has self-control. But then again, got mad when a guy like blocked her because she was like, it was a weird situation, but like. You're, you were complaining. Yeah, it, it's weird. Anyway, like, when you're you're not confident, you're not, you know, no one wants to hear someone complaining about not being able to get someone. It's not cute. Like, no one wants that. And I'm not going to act like I've never done I've done that. I've been a stupid teenager. I've been a stupid early 20-year-old and complained about, I'm going to be single forever. Yeah, and then, like, once I got out of that mindset and stopped fucking being like that, I was like, bitch, I'm the bomb. And I was like, you know what? I got a man. I've been in a relationship for almost four years now. So it's it's all about how you it's all about how you perceive yourself. Because if you perceive yourself a certain way and then you project that outwardly, other people will perceive you the same way. If you perceive like you are the baddest bitch on this fucking planet, and you sh and you reflect that outwardly onto yourself, other people will be like, that's a bad fucking bitch. Okay, like Lizzo. Okay, Lizzo isn't conventionally attractive because she's not super skinny and blah, blah, blah. But that Lizzo knows that she is the baddest bitch. She projects that she's the baddest bitch. And Lizzo is a fucking gorgeous human being, okay? Like, and her confidence just makes her more beautiful to me. So, like, no. Size has nothing to do with it. But now, <laughs> let me actually listen to the person's response. Because I think I just went off on this person. But let's listen to what she has to say. What? You're so right. I appreciate the concern. You know what? Maybe you should buy everything over here that I listed that will ensure that I lose all the weight I need to lose to hit like a healthy body weight. Okay, so let's see the list of things she thinks she needs. You don't need a small fridge. Uh, you don't need gym clothes, okay? Uh, I mean, some, some supportive shoes can help. You know, clothes as you lose weight. I mean, obviously that can help as well. Um, all these things can help, but it's not needed. You literally don't need any of these things to lose weight. All you need to be is in a caloric deficit. So all she has to do is just eat less food than she's been eating. And she'll probably lose some weight, especially initially. But, you know, all these things make it, you know, easier. All these things make it more sustainable, especially the... 
a therapist, nutritionist, and dietitian, those things can all help you figure out what you're doing wrong or what you could do to improve your chances to lose weight. Your therapist can help you figure out why you're overeating. Like all those things can help, but you know, they're not needed to lose weight weight since only healthy bodies can apparently date and get into relationships and attract people um so if you can pay for all of that i will definitely do it if not if you're loaded then um maybe pay for lipo because i can get that done in like a week maybe recover for a month and get on the road and start dating all the men that like healthy looking women <laughs> okay see right there when she's smiling she's really pretty to me but before, when she was being like, um, do all this, like, she just seemed not approachable and not someone I would want, like, not someone I would want to talk to. Like, I'm coming from the perspective of someone, like, you're trying to attract somebody and, like, that attitude, like, doesn't, doesn't attract me to you. You know what I mean? Like, and I know you're, you know, responding to this person who's honestly being shitty 100%. I already went off on them, so it's okay. But, like, if this is how you present yourself in all your other TikToks, I wouldn't want to find you attractive either. Not because you're an unattractive person, but because the attitude and your energy that you were giving off, like I just don't find that attractive, you know? But that's just me. Someone else might, and I don't doubt that like, you don't, I don't think you have to lose weight to find someone sweetie. I really don't, so. But uh, yeah, thanks for the concern, I appreciate it. This app is so fat phobic. The fact that there is no way to make a plus size is fucking ridiculous, sorry, but it is. Um, I don't know if I would say that's fat phobic. I have played a couple like dress up games where I can't like make my avatar um, a darker skin tone, which really does annoy me. Actually, it turns me off from the games a lot of times because if one of my favorite things to do in video games is making a character. I will download a whole game if I can make a fucking character. I love making characters, okay? And if I can't have the character of me as I'm playing this game be at least a darker skin tone, it kind of takes me out of it, like me be able to pretend like this is me in the game you know what I mean like I most games I play my persona is pixie love and pixie love is this character that you're seeing right now this is my persona online when I play certain games like I make her I don't make me and if I can't make her if I can't make my online persona then I don't like it just turns me off from the game you know like I pixie has a virtual life out there and that she has to be in every game that I play now um, do I think the games are racist when you can't? No, I think they probably didn't think that there's a need for skin changing. Some games probably don't think that there's a need for body changing. Cause, and also, they probably look at this game. It looks like it's a small indie game. They probably don't have the budget or the time to like make the body in a bigger size, which would also have to mean they would make every clothes option in that bigger size as well. Like it seems like something very easy, just a click of a button for you're playing the game. But I think coding and the drawing and all that is a lot of work that maybe they just don't have time for you know like and it doesn't mean that they're fat phobic it's just they're playing to the broader spectrum of the game most people want a normal skinny looking avatar for a game you know what i mean okay it's not fat phobic but let's see the rest of this it's too early for this fat phobic trend skinny is not and has never been a bad word Your insecurities don't equal our oppression. So I'm very confused about what's going on, but the way I'm taking this is that, I've said this argument too, but there's a lot of um, the fattest of this people use skinny as like an insult to people who aren't fat. They're like, oh, skinny bitches and blah, 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 blah. And a lot of like people who aren't fat be like, okay, so you're saying we can't call you fat. We can't talk about your weight. We can't talk about your body. But the first thing you do about me is talk about my skinny body and skinny this. And I'm a bad person because of this, that, that. It all has to do with their body. And you're saying like, oh, this is fat phobic because you're just insecure and I'm actually oppressed. So you're not like... That's like me as a black person talking a bunch of shit about white people. But like, oh, white people are horrible and white people are racist and white people don't deserve to live. But the moment a white person says something about me being black, oh, you're a racist and blah, blah, blah. Like, you're not allowed to do that because I'm oppressed and you're not. No, if I said those things as a black person about white people, it is just as wrong as a white person saying these horrible things to me as a black person. Okay, does one maybe have a bigger impact because of 
oppression and all that shit? Yeah, probably. But on an individual level, is that person just as hurt as I'm hurt? Yeah, probably. So it's not okay to do it either way. Okay? That's like, that's not, no, it's not okay here. You don't get to sit here and complain about, oh, um, you know, people use fat as a bad word. It's an insult. Don't comment on my body. Don't say this. Don't say that. And then you yourself go ahead and do those same things you're saying not to do to someone else. That's not okay. That's not okay. That's like me telling someone, hey, don't fucking stab me in the arm. But then I go and stab someone else in the arm. If I don't want something done to me, I'm not going to go do it to someone else. It's like, did you not learn like the basic fucking human rules? Like treat people how you want to be treated. You know, if you don't want someone coming at your weight and shit, don't come at someone else's weight, whether they're skinny or not. It's not rocket science, people. It's literally not rocket science. Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to do, we're going to do one more today. Okay. Let's do one more. Tell me about something that's fat phobic that no one really talks about. I'll go first. Dating reality shows. I can't think of one person who they've had on a dating show that was not skinny. Um, at the bottom it says, I am a dating show junkie. I've seen The Bachelorette, Love Island, Too Hot to Handle, and Are You the One Plus More. And you know what? I will agree. Um, I, something I've noticed a lot too. I was like, there's never, and it's not just skinny people, there's not just fat people I say, but I was like, there's never someone who's unconventionally like unattractive on the show like someone who is most of these shows have people who are like 9 out of 10 10 out of 10s you know and 9 times out of 10 they're plus size people I mean they're sorry 9 times out of 10 or honestly 10 times out of 10 they're skinny hit fit people you know what I mean like and it's definitely something else and also a lot of the time they're white i know a lot of networks have created rules where you have to have a certain amount of people of color which that might upset some people but they're not just saying black people i'm sorry if you have 10 people on a show okay and eight of them are white and only two of them are a person of color that's fucking ridiculous and out of all the people of color you, you do like a black person and an asian person what about native americans what about you know um, Latino people, what about, you know, uh, Middle Eastern people, uh, Pacific Western people, like, there is so many other non-white people you can show besides black and Asian as well. Like, come on, when I say persons of color, I mean people of color. I love seeing people of color, period, represented in, me in media. And Kanto was my shit. And I love that there were just so many forms of Latin people, from Afro-Latinos to Latino people, like, it's just was so fucking beautiful plus the music and everything but like i love the res representation in that show i love seeing so many people have like show their child and be like oh my god that looks like me like antonio his little cute afro dark skin looked just like my nephew my nephew i mean he's a grown man now but my nephew is a dark skinned black man with a beautiful curly afro you know and i can't really say there's a lot of tv shows that have a character that looks like him so i think that's amazing um but i do agree with this person saying like i love me some dating shows and there's rarely ever a fat person i think love is blind um i have noticed that they've had a couple of thicker girls and i and i do mean like thick like now i'm not saying someone who's completely obese but they've had a couple slightly overweight girls but i don't think they ever got like matched up with someone um from what i saw but like and i i they're like 10 they're like 20 30 pounds overweight they're not like something fat fat you know what i mean but yes dating shows are extremely extremely um i wouldn't say the word is fat phobic but like i said i think they like the show it it's hard to explain, but I think I kind of explained in my first sentence. They show people who are extremely conventionally attractive. So anything that far out of that norm, out of the norm, they're not going to really have on the show, which I think is messed up because it's supposed to be like everyday people finding their love. But then again, your everyday people are drop dead gorgeous people. Like, come on or had a flat stomach. And this is problematic because millions of people are tuning into these shows and the message you are sending is that bigger people are not lovable. So I think that's one area we do need more representation in. So we Okay, most of these shows are for adults. Teenagers watch them, yes, of course. If your teenager is watching a show like this, you have to make sure you let your teenagers know like, 
he like like I just said a representation does matter representation is important but at the same time you shouldn't find your worth in what you see on tv is it nice to see yourself in tv yes and my for what I mean like representation matters is to see something that looks like you presented in a positive light growing up besides uh French Chris of Bel Air uh the Cosby show Monique like besides like some of those like sitcom shows, there wasn't a lot of black people represented in a positive good light. Nine times out of ten, they were you know drug dealers, criminals, bad guys. Like, and it took a long time to even just watch a commercial. Like I remember a couple years ago, I saw a car commercial with a black family, and I was like, oh my fucking god, like. It's crazy that I think it was like 2017 or something that I watched a fucking commercial with a black family just being normal and it not and it being like oh my god that's the fucking that's an amazing thing because like I, you don't see that and that's what I mean by like representation is important it's important to see people of color just being normal human beings instead of always being represented as something negative but something like this you still also have to make sure people know like yeah you might have you know some Latinos and black people have gay members on a, t on a TV show, but also have to remember that that's not your worth. Do not put your self-value in what you see on TV. Your self-value should always come from within. If your self-value is coming from outer, out, outward influences, then that's something you need to work on yourself because your self-value should come from within. Do I say there should be more precipitations on TV shows? Yes, I, I said it. But your value should not be like, oh, there's no skinny people. There's no fat people on a dating show. So I can't be loved, apparently. If that's your logic of thinking, you shouldn't be watching TV. You should not be watching TV. We need to start having the conversation around what's going on in these shows. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So leave them in the comments. All right. So Curvy Queen Sheen. I think that's how you say your name. I agree with your opinion. Mostly. All right. It's been a while since I did one of these. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you're still here at this point, please go check out my last two videos to just, um, from this week. I posted a Steve Wilkos reaction video, and I'm actually really proud of that one. So, like, I would say go give that a try. Like, go check that out. I think it's called But I Love Him. I changed the name, and it got demonetized, so I changed it back. So, anyway, like, go check that out. And go check out my Motivational Monday one, because we have two fans in that video. That was awesome. Anyway, I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye-bye.